What's up guys, it's the next day. We're currently in Brighton town, and me and Lewis. We're about to grab some breakfast and then head back to the gym for a pull day. All right, I just want to do like a bunch of machines, a bunch of accessory stuff, get a massive bicep pump, load a pump pre-workout because I have to drive two and a half hours back after this. Brendan, is that you? Apparently I'm called Brendan when I wear the glasses. Nevertheless, let's go Brendan. And then I have a two and a half hour drive back to Birmingham because I have so much work to do tonight. So much to prepare, so much to get done, so much that I like don't want to do because tomorrow my girlfriend comes to the UK. It's been a month. We haven't seen each other in four weeks. I know that's not a long time. I know it's not crazy, but tomorrow at 10.05, a.m. in the morning, I'm going to London Gatwick and picking her up from the airport, but we've got all of today to do first. All right, so we just came into town with this small little breakfast place called Monge 2, and the breakfast actually just came out. It looks really, really good. I just went with a classic eggs benedict and what was a granola before I forgot to show you what I had for breakfast, but that's already gone. And they gave me this homemade jam, which is freaking amazing. So what have you got? Uh, this is a salad, sausage and egg salad. All right, time for a workout. We are back at the gym. So many things have happened over the past like literally 30 minutes. To decisions that I like I'm gonna briefly explain the car bumper unglued the gorilla glue wasn't as strong we took it to a garage down the street they put a bolt through it now it is immovable like it cannot be destroyed next decision obviously Geordie is arriving at London Gatwick tomorrow morning London Gatwick is no more than a 30 minute drive from Brighton right now so why drive all the way up to Birmingham two hours and 50 minutes to drive down to Gatwick again to go back up which will be about seven hours of driving if I just stay at Lewis's tonight and go straight to Gatwick tomorrow I will only be driving for about three hours in total which means I have to get a few things sorted I need to get a suave outfit to look good at the airport tomorrow buy some flowers buy a toothbrush so I can freshen up for when I see her I've been ready the whole time while you've been messing around so. are you winding me up I've been ready <laughs> late as always uh, but we have the flowers her flight was like an hour late and she was meant to land at 10.05 and it's now currently 10 20 so i'm banking on the fact that she's late because i'm about 25 minutes half an hour from the airport right now but we got the goods we got zara white jumper shorts because i can literally buy no trousers in zara i tried like four pairs on five pairs on nothing fit resorted in shorts mate and we got some cream shoes i don't really like these that much but they're gonna have to do for that like right now anyway so <sighs> All good. At least if she watches this and I'm late, she'll understand. And this is like me covering my ass. Oh, Should have bought a belt, but easy access on the way home. What is that elastic? 
Why did they tie their shoelaces like this? Like through the middle? Whoever thought of this idea is stupid. It just doesn't make any sense. It's not practical at all. I'm not thinking about all the people that are like late for their girlfriends at the airport. Oh mate, I hope you don't see my feet. Jesus Christ. Disgusting. I'm about to destroy these new these new swanky shoes. She doesn't have a foot fetish, does she? No, nah, she doesn't like sucking toes. She's trying to suck your toe on the way home. No, nah, but she likes. Well, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> we should have got you some Velcro ones. Straight to uh, Clark's. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she'll like me better in Crocs. Shorts, shirt, and. Oh. Voila. Hello Brandon. Nice to meet you. Turn up. Just, just stand there. Alright, pleasure to oh, meet you. Man. See you soon. Bro. See you soon. Okay. Journey for London Gatwick. 35 minutes. <laughs> we finally made it to the airport. Jordi just texted me about five minutes ago saying that she just landed. I called her and she's actually just pulling up to the gate right now. Oh my God, I'm like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to feel. I'm about to see my girlfriend for the first time in the past month. Oh, <laughs> I have absolutely no idea how we managed to come across these just a second ago. Emptied the boot of the car so she can like put her suitcases. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All I have to do now is wait for her to get through security because the arrival gate is literally, I'm at the North Terminal in Gatwick. It's literally just through the doors right there. So all I have to do is like walk down there and she'll be there. Security will probably take like 25 minutes, but I have, I have, I have no words right now. We thought it would be like three months until we get to the chance to see each other because of the, the pandemic and stuff. We didn't know if flights would be allowed, but just a month, like four and a bit weeks later. <sighs> She's here. Just getting off the plane. I'm so nervous, that's excited to see you, holy shit. <laughs> that means I should probably go down to arrivals and wait. <laughs> On a single hunch, I decided to pack all my bags and move four and a half thousand miles across the world to Canada. Meeting the incredible people that I had the chance to meet, that have honestly, without knowing, changed my life forever. A significant life, just what it was needed. say goodbye to all these people and saying goodbye to people has never been easy for me. Over my time that I spent in this beautiful country, I had the chance to meet a girl. Someone that I didn't think that I was ready to meet. But I'm so glad that I did. We do have a special guest. Jordi. Hi, my name's Jordi. Cheers. <laughs> I don't know, you're the clickbait king, so maybe Oh, okay. <laughs> enjoying my final three months with the love of my life. Now I don't know how 
and I don't know why, but I've somehow convinced this unicorn of a woman to follow me home, back to England. Hello. Hi. Come on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if it, yeah. How do you feel? How am I feeling? I'm just happy everything like fitting nicely. <laughs> Your suitcase is like four people's suitcases are like surprising fit. I almost walked to the other side. <laughs> Hi. This feels so weird. Okay. Good yeah. This is not very well. I'll do what George is doing. Oh hi. hi! Hello, sweetheart. Yeah. There is no other way to describe what is about to go down other than being a monumental moment in history. Geordie's about to try her very first Greg. And what is the one item on the list of Greg's that she needs to try the most? Sausage roll. A sausage roll, mate. Sausage roll. This is full on bedazzled. Yeah, I'm extra. My ears are too small, so I need to make this a bit smaller. Thank you. Thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> what are you expecting? I think it's gonna melt in my mouth. Oh, it's so flaky. Is right. it sausage? Yeah. Take your time, take your time. Yeah, take your time. It's really good, actually. It's really bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> the pastry is fantastic. It's so soft. Yeah, this is, is dangerous. Greg's is special. I'm gonna come back. <laughs> Next thing on the list of things to try, we just got back from Tesco to pick up all the ingredients for the food. We're gonna be preparing today for the hard body drop video. But, by the way, when I'm about to show you this, you're gonna be like, oh fuck, it's about to go down. You already know what this is. I think I just stuck, oh, I stuck my thumb in it. You guys are both like, oh my God. Yeah, like a good finger. Oh God. Is yeah, how much you have? That's a good amount. That's a good amount. That's a lot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. What the fuck? Oh my god. I want to put this on. I want to put this in oats. What is this? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just biscuit paste. Biscoff mm. to the rescue for every situation. I feel like for you, this is more than just an experience to a new country. This is like an experience to a new fucking universe. Greg sausage roll, <laughs> Biscoff paste, England, all in the past 24 hours. <laughs> This is crazy. What's up guys? As you can see, only one third of people that watch these videos actually subscribe. So I'd really appreciate it if you do enjoy these videos to hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And if you're feeling generous, smash the like. I'd really appreciate it.